The best things to do in Saint-Tropez go beyond only hitting the town's wonderful French Riviera beaches that attract the rich and famous. The glamorous coastal town also has plenty of cool spots where you can soak up the vibes of its colorful cultural heritage. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 best things to do in Saint-Tropez. And just wait till you see what's at number one, something you may not even have thought of, so make sure you watch till the end. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome travel guides and make sure to hit the notification bell so that you know when we publish a new video. So let's cut to the chase. At 10, Carré Saint-Maxime, diverse cultural presentations in a forward-thinking space. The Carré Saint-Maxime is a multidisciplinary performing arts theater in the city of the same name, about half an hour's drive north from Saint-Tropez. If you're looking to fill up on culture after spending your days bronzing on the beaches and your other evenings star-spotting in the nightclubs, then you're in luck. There's a diverse and eclectic program of events on offer here throughout the seasons. The venue itself is open every day of the year, from dance and theatre to live music performances and even circus-style spectacles. At 9, Saint-Tropez Harbour. Take a perro on the quay. Saint-Tropez Harbour, Port de Saint-Tropez, is one of the most picturesque places in the coastal town. Besides offering plenty of Instagrammable angles and being a popular spot for the sailing and luxury yacht crowd, it's lined with chic cafes and shops. Little sums up France better than the deeply ingrained cultural ritual of taking an aperitif before dinner, and this is an ideal spot for l'heure de apéro, or apéro o'clock to you and me. Open as it is from the early morning until the wee hours, Café Senequier is as good a spot as any to sip something refreshing as you watch the sun begin to sink down over the Côte d'Azur. The trendy and aptly named Bar du Port also has outside seating and makes for an equally solid choice. At 8, Place aux Herbes. Mingle with the locals in a humble market setting. Place aux Herbes is the original old morning market square in the old port, the Vieux Port area, where you can get a first feel for the slightly more modest side of Saint-Tropez. It serves as a great alternative for when you need a breather from all the glamour and glitz of its beaches and bars. Browse the deliciously fresh southern French produce that benefits from all the richness of the Mediterranean region's sun. If you have somewhere to cook back at your accommodation, you can perhaps pick up a few items to whip up a French feast of your own. Take time, too, to stop for a coffee and some people watching on the terrace of the famous Café Senequier nearby. Next up, at 7, Gendarmerie Nationale, History of Film and the French Police. The Police? Gendarmerie Nationale, Musée de la Gendarmerie and du Cinéma Saint-Tropez, is housed in an old law enforcement building and tells the story of the town's cinematic roots. It is proof of Saint-Tropez's rich, vibrant and long-lasting history of cinema production and how it became a centre for film and the arts. You can take in the different films that have been produced in Saint-Tropez and the surrounding area and, in a nice crossover that pays homage to the venue's past, see how the police have been depicted in French films over the years. The museum also has exhibitions that seek to pick apart the various myths that surround the glamour of Saint-Tropez's prestigious cinema history. Make sure you don't get your collar felt with the police, though. At 6, Portelet Tower, a 15th century defence tower overlooking the port. Portelet Tower is a defence tower built in the 15th century to protect the coast and port of Saint-Tropez. It was one of four defence towers in the area, and although only three remain, you can visit each of them to experience a bit of Saint-Tropez's history. The Observation Tower is a great spot away from the crowds to get scenic views over the port both day and night. It's situated in the historic fisherman's town of La Panche, and on the other side of the cove to the east, you'll find a second tower, Tour de la Vielle, just a four-minute walk away. At 5, Place des Lys. For some of the best produce Provence has to offer, Place de Lys and its market is where you want to head to for good grub in Saint-Tropez. Even those who aren't necessarily foodies know that Provence is the place to come in France. One of the best in Europe, many would tell you, for choice cheeses, meats, bread, pastries and more, with Place de Lys showcasing the best of it. 
The twice weekly market is the perfect place to stock up if you're staying in self catering accommodation in Saint Tropez or else to pick up supplies for an impromptu picnic. There are also homewares and handcrafted goods to discover. Just be sure to get here early. And next up at four, an Anciade Museum, a quaint art museum set in a 16th century chapel. The Annonciade Museum, created in 1922, showcases paintings by prominent artists of the 20th century who lived in or near Saint-Tropez. The museum is housed in a former 16th century chapel, which is where it gets its name. Inside, you'll find paintings and sculptures from 1890 to 1950, with works by well-known artists such as Henri Matisse and Georges Seurat decorating the walls of their eight rooms. The paintings reflect the Navis, Fauvist and Pontilist movements and there are occasional events held throughout the year. Next up at three, Maritime History Museum. Discover Saint-Tropez's naval culture and history. The Maritime History Museum, or Musée de Histoire Maritime, traces back Saint-Tropez's rich, enduring past as a maritime city and that's long outdating its more recent reinvention as an on-trend destination for the moneyed jet set. The museum is set in a fitting and photogenic location set in the dungeon of Saint-Tropez's citadel. This means that once you've explored the exhibition of artifacts relating to voyages off the French coast and far beyond, you can also take in the stunning 17th century citadel itself. The citadel comes complete with lookout points over the sea and mountains, must sees for incredible sweeping vistas. Is it me or does it look like a sandcastle? Next up at two, Old Town Saint-Tropez. Get lost along charming back streets. Saint-Tropez's Old Town evokes the kind of spirit that most people imagine when they think of the charming, character-rich south of France. Much of the appeal is in simply getting lost in its charm. Here you can wander the narrow, pastel-hued alleyways as they meander into one another and feel the cobblestones beneath your feet as you take in the sights. Popular attractions include the Church of Notre-Dame, Église Parasoile Notre-Dame de l'Assomption, while there are also restaurants, bars and cafes in this bustling, atmospheric neighbourhood. And finally, at number one, Pampelon Beach as A-list as it gets. Pampelon Beach, Plage de Pampelon, is the trendiest beach in Saint-Tropez. Indeed, it's the sun, sea and sand that have most of the jet set flocking to the coastal town. The beach is also the longest and most popular. You can find the beach in a lovely sheltered bay not far from the village of Ramatuel. Pampelon is famous for its exclusive beach clubs that are packed with A-list celebrities but you can also pull up your own towel or rent a deck chair along much of its length. If Pampelon doesn't appeal, numerous other public beaches in and around Saint-Tropez are just as stunning, including Plage de Boulabais and Plage des Salins. And there you have the top 10 best things to do in Saint-Tropez. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic travel guides. Check out more videos on France in our French travel guide playlist. That's all for now. Until next time.